Hi, welcome to 520 Sports Talk. We are out here on the patio at Johnny Gibson's Downtown Market High Wire Lounge. Uh, glad to have them. Uh, they lay out the red carpet for us. It's a great night to have a show. Normally it's our show under the stars, but with the uh, summer months, it's uh, still light out here, but it's a great atmosphere. So uh, we want to have you uh, tune in, watch this show. It's going to be a very special show. Tucson Mountain Little League girls are here. It's going to be a great show, and uh, we're looking forward to it. But first, we're going to get to some sponsors, because without them, we wouldn't have a show. Arizona Motor Vehicle Express, 6731 North 41 North Thornydale. Believe me, I use these guys exclusively. I don't want the DMV hangover. I don't want to spend three hours in DMV to get my tags or driver's license. I'm in and out in 10 minutes. Check them out. They can do everything the DMV can, even road tests. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30. Saturday, they are open from 9 to 3, so definitely check them out. I tell them 520 Sports Talk sent you. Tucson Speedway, located at on South Houghton Road, just on the other side of the fairgrounds. Fast, fun, furious, family fun in racing. We have our NASCAR show at Wings Over Broadway out east every month. If you happen to catch the last one, there's a bunch of good races coming on. The points leaders are very, very tightly knit. There's only a few points between the top and third and fourth drivers. So check it out. It's not going to break the bank. It's going to be fun for the kids. There's a play area. There's live music. Uh, there's great food out there. Tucson Speedway. Thank you very much. Simply noted, mixing modern marketing techniques with an old school personal touch. Expand your business footprint and by going to simplynoted.com. This is owned by Ricky Elmore, who used to play football at the U of A and for the Houston Texans. Uh, basically, if you just want to get your name out there more and uh, make your business more known definitely call to him he's helped us out tremendously this next sponsor is going to be for next monday night i want to kind of interject this cartwright's modern cuisine is 6710 east cave creek road in cave creek just north of scottsdale next monday night we will have the e1 prospects and also four girls from team usa on our show on our kickoff show for 602 sports talk we're looking forward to this this has been in the making for about six months and uh, Bobby Pena from USA Softball Arizona will be on hand. They definitely want to check that out. That will be on the 602 Sports Talk Facebook page. So if you haven't liked that yet, go ahead and like it, and you will be able to watch us next week, next Monday night, up in Chandler. Catalina Auto Recycling. Why buy new and used will do. For all your automotive part needs, go to CatalinaAutoRecycling.com. I got a new engine for my Z. My 350Z from Catalina Auto Recycling. I'm getting leather seats. I've got a bunch of stuff. Saved me a load of money from buying new, so definitely check them out. And if you really think about it, all cars run on used parts. Arizona Lending Specialist called Mo the Mortgage Lady at 520-510-6698 for the lowest rates in town. And this is this is no BS. It's the lowest rates. She's going to beat Nova. She's going to beat Sun Street. And when you're spending $150,000, $200,000 for a home, saving eight or $10,000 on your mortgage for a half a percentage point or a percentage point makes a lot of difference. Jim Miller State Farm, located at Wade and Silverbell. They'll be moving in July up the street to Coach Line in Silverbell in Continental Ranch. He's your one-stop shop for life, auto, home, renters, and bank insurance. Look for the Red VW outside of his office and go bug him for a quote. Teller Trophy, two convenient locations to serve you at 6th Avenue and 6th Street and at the 5700 block of East 22nd Street. Tucson's original trophy and award center. Go to Teller Trophy. Dot com. And we'll get to the rest of the advertisers a little later on the show. So I want to welcome the coaches from Tucson Mountain Little League. And we'll start with you. Just introduce yourself and tell us uh, what your role is with the team. Um, my name is Ed Bianis. I'm the one of the assistant coaches on this year's All-Stars, my major's All-Stars. Cool. My name is uh, J.P. Orrutia. I'm the head coach of the All-Star team. And... Um, we out here trying to work hard and trying to bring one in Tucson Mountain. So. All right. And I'm Coach Javier. I'm another one of the assistants, too. All right, great. And, and I forgot to tell you guys, camera on me. I forgot to tell you guys, these are the all-star. This is an all-star team. So this is the best of the best, all right? So, so tell us a little bit about the organization. How would one go about, uh, if they're parents, to get their daughters involved with Tucson Mountain Little League? Well, there's uh, a few ways you can go about it. Um, there's um, 
registration online. That's uh, they're working on uh, on a web page, but they should have it up and running before uh, fall starts, which is in uh, September. Uh, that's one of the way you can go about it. And another way is just go to uh, Kennedy Park at the snack bar, ask for a registration form. Kennedy Park, great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, register. That's easy. Yeah. Just get the thing filled out and uh, turn it back in, and uh, they'll ask you for for uh, proof of residency and other things uh, for for the player in order to play for the district that that's on. But if you have any other questions about the rules in Little League, you can go to littleleague.com and you'll find all everything there too. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you this. Do you, does someone have to live on the west side of Tucson in the Tucson Mountain area to play with Tucson Mountain Little League, or is it open registration? It's uh, with Anybody can sign up to play, but when it comes to All-Stars, they have to be living in the jurisdiction okay, or... Or their kid has to be going to school in the jurisdiction. So they can live on another side of town. If their kid goes to one of the local schools that's on the west side right there, then that's that's another way that they could play All-Stars. But anybody could sign up during the regular season. They could live on any side of town, but they just won't be eligible for All-Stars. Okay, all right. Well, that's good to know. So tell us a little bit about um, the difference between Little League and club. I know money is a big difference. Um, club teams... It takes a lot of money to be on a club team. Not everybody, you know, has that type of money. Um, the, yeah, I would say the biggest difference is they club definitely you have to put more money in. You're paying monthly fees. Little League, you'll pay a one-time fee at the beginning of the season. And there's a lot more equipment that goes into club. They practice a lot more. We tend to practice maybe two or three times a week. Club usually does about that. And then they do the Sunday practices where it's about six hours a day. So it's... They, they practice a lot more at club. It does cost a lot more. They also travel. But the good thing that I like about Tucson Mountain is we've, we've me and my daughter, we've done the club thing already. But for me, it's about finding the right team. It's not sure. just about going club and just signing up. Hey, we're in club. You know, for me, right. I want to be a part of the right team. So for me and my daughter, I would have to say we're right now, we're okay with being at Tucson Mountain. There's some teams out there that are good enough, and when it comes to the All-Stars, that's when you get real good games. So, exactly. so for us, we're, we're kind of content. There's no rush in going, but if an opportunity opens up somewhere and it's a good team, we, you know, we would consider it for sure. Okay. And at the end of the day, guys, it's softball. I mean, it's, they play the same game as you guys play. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about this year's All-Star team. Um, this year's All-Star team features, uh, I would have to say, we got 13 players on the roster. And we actually, a lot of kids aren't at the at the age limit. We're playing 11U right now, and we have we have a handful of 10 year olds. But in my opinion, coach's opinion, we went over it. The 10 year olds can hang. So the 10 year olds that we do have on our team are pretty solid. So that's why we decided to go with a few of the 10 year olds. But this year's team has about five or six returners from last season, and then it's. I would have to say about six, at least six different players that didn't play All-Stars last year that are playing this year. In my opinion, it's always good to play up. Um, you know, having, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, and, and I know I've, I've said it before on other shows and our viewers may or may not be aware of it. We have three scouting services that watch all of our softball. We have uh, uh, College Sport Advocate, uh, WSSA, and uh, I can't remember the, the, the last one. It, it, I can't remember it, but anyways, three scouting services and they watch and they they see you know the girls they're gonna you know so they may or may not contact you know you as a coach and stuff like that we want the girls to continue to play through high school through college whether it's jc at pima which has a great club with rebecca kiros um you know d d one two three and aia any level to help the parents a yeah, scholarship's a scholarship you know to help the parents you know financially is hey go Learn about life in college, and play softball to pay for college. That's that's the name of the game. So, um, tell us the the teams around town that you that you play. Now, do you play like Western and Sabino and those teams? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we play uh, leagues all around town, but I mean mostly uh, leagues that are on a district, District Five. Um, okay. So we have Thornido, we have Flowing Wells, uh, Canyon View. All those leagues, uh, we play them throughout the year. But then when it comes to All-Stars, there's some leagues that can't get a team together sure. to, to uh, enter an All-Star team. So uh, this this year, we only have four teams in our, in our bracket. 
And okay. uh, we have another team, a 10U team, and they have six teams. So they have more teams than ours. So ours is only four teams that we have. But hey, it's, it's all good. We had Floating Wells Little League on, and uh, you know they have a great organization yeah. as well. So uh, we are all about softball. We're all about youth sports here at 5TO Sports Talk. And, uh, you know, we obviously wish you the best. If you would do us a favor, uh, now that you're an All-Stars, if you would uh, – Text me or email me at 520sportstalk at gmail.com. I think it's on the card I gave you. Give us a, a game schedule. We would love to come out and do some filming out there. Uh, we may even live stream it and do play-by-play. -play, so uh, we would love to do that for you guys. So we want to thank you very much for laying that foundation for the team. Remember, you can go to Kennedy Park if you want your daughter to be involved with Tucson Mountain Little League or to TucsonMountainLittleLeague.com. Dot com is the website. So. Uh, definitely check it out because it's definitely a worthwhile organization and uh, you know it's all about the kids having fun and learning how to play the sport so if you if you're not doing anything tomorrow come check us out we got our first playoff game tomorrow at Arthur Pack Park at 730 yep. okay so if you guys are doing in the nothing, morning or at night now <laughs> at, at night okay. at well, that's a an early one yeah okay so come check us out man we're gonna try to do our best to do what we can this this season but I think we won't, we're gonna be in pretty good and who hands. would you be playing We'll be playing against Thornydale Little League. Oh, Thornydale, okay. Yeah, at Arthur right. Pack at 730. All right, and Arthur Pack is just uh, right by Mountain View High School on North Thornydale Road. So, All right, thank you, coaches, and we'll get the first group of uh, girls up here. Uh, while we're changing up, let me continue with the sponsors. First Heritage Realty, the A to B team with Brittany Palma. Now, we're going to have a uh, our annual fitness, bodybuilding, and pole show. Brittany is a uh, fitness uh, competitor. She's also into jujitsu. But she also owns First Heritage Realty, the A to B team. So if you're looking for a house, condo, townhouse, or just land, make sure you give her a call at 520-270-7958 and move the healthy way. Oasis Air Conditioning and Heating, make sure your units are in tip-top shape because it's already hot, over 100 degrees. Definitely don't want it to break down. Call David Murrieta, 520-648-1755, especially the people down in the Sarita Green Valley area. That's where they're based, but they do do <laughs> service and sales all over town. New Stitch Embroidery, located at 3114 South 12th Avenue. Right here, they do our shirts. This looks good. Great logo we have. Uh, check them out for your silk screening, embroidery, and fabric laser printing. They've got this machine that actually is a laser printer like you would have at home for your, your computer that actually works on clothes. So you know how silk screen sometimes cracks after you know a couple hundred <laughs> washings and and all that the laser printing does not crack because it's inkjet just driven into the fabric definitely check it out not all uh, t-shirt companies and, and silk screening companies have that give them a call 520-741-1070 or newstitch.org newstitch.org this is one of my favorite um, sponsors and a, and a new sponsor relatively new sponsor pat's drive-in pat's chili dogs i mean who hasn't had pat's chili dogs i mean anybody that lives in tucson if you haven't had Pat's Chili Dogs, I don't think you can call yourself a Tucsonan. It's on the corner of Niagara and Grande over in Barrio Hollywood, just off of St. Mary's, between St. Mary's and Speedway. Go check them out for the best chili dogs in the world, the best fries. Burgers are great. Pat's Chili Dogs. And we'll get to the other sponsors. We'll wrap up them in just a little bit later in the show. Ladies, how are you? Good. All right. You, Good. Yeah, got, well, you'll share a mic, and you guys have your own. How's that? Yeah. All right. You got the cool uh, Sennheiser mic like I do. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with you. Give us your name, where you go to school, and what position you play. Hi. My name is Ana Sofia. I go to McCorkle Academy, and I play third base. Okay. Great. Hi. My name is Martha. I go to Southgate Academy. And I'm 12. Okay, and what position do you play? <laughs> Shortstop. Shortstop, all right. You got a gun for an arm, right? Uh, my name is Sui Lisa Urrutia. I go to Master Math and Science Success Academy. I am 11 years old, and I play pretty much every position besides pitcher and outfield. Nice, very good. You're a very valuable player. My name is Leila Lopez. I go to Mansfield Middle School, and I usually play first base and backup pitcher. Okay, great. Well, welcome to the show. We're really, really, I'm honored to have you on here. Let's talk a little bit about All Stars. You can, why don't you give us the team that you were playing on before you made All Stars? 
Is it a different team or is it just all Tucson Mountain? No, it's different. Team. It's different. Okay, so give us the teams that you were on. Well, I was on the Vipers. The Vipers. Okay, I've heard of them. I was with the Flames. With the Flames, I've heard of them too. I was with the Flames. Also. Okay. Me too. Flames. So three Flames and a Viper. Can't beat that. All right, so it's got to be pretty cool to make All-Stars. I know when I was in Little League, I made All-Stars one year. Um, and I thought that was really, really you know, a cool thing. What? Um, who picks the All-Star team? Is it just all the coaches uh, around the different teams? Or how do you get to be an All-Star? So the coaches pick the best players of the team. So I guess this season um, they did major girls and minor girls. And the coach, the coach for majors, he picked the like the best players he had, and yeah, and the other coaches from minors, they picked the best players that they had, and they combined the team. Now you guys are majors, right? Yes. Yeah, we're yes. You guys are big time. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Okay. So, tell me what the neatest thing about being an all star is. The feeling that you know you made all stars, which means like all the work you put out, it did pay off. That's a great answer. And um, it just like I don't know how to explain. It. Like you get to play better teams, so it's more of a challenge, and you'll be ready for like high school and stuff, and get like scholarships. That's a good answer as well. It's competitive. I bet it is. I bet it is. Well, for all stars, it's to be better at softball and yeah. Okay, all right. So let me ask you this: When uh, you guys all live on the west side of town, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you guys now you can walk into Fries or QT or something like that, and you're like, and you see somebody else that you just really on another team that you just like really beat really bad, and you're like, it's all right, I'm an all star for Tucson Mountain. Right on, right? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Cool. You can kind of walk with a little swagger <laughs> and everything. That's that's cool. That's a good thing. This is an opportunity that you'll never ever forget. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm a lot older than you guys, and yet I still remember being on the Frontier Little League All Star team way back in you know the dinosaurs walked the earth. You know, so um, that's a really really neat thing. So tell me this. Tell me the high schools that you're getting. You guys are in middle school, right? Yeah. So you're getting. You're either going to be in eighth grade or you're going to go to high school. Okay. So tell me the high school that you're going to go play for. I would like to play for Tucson High because I know it's really hard to get into. Okay. And it just feels like there's a lot of competition on that team. Tucson High has a very, very good softball team. Uh, Bert Otero is one of the legendary coaches in softball. Uh, I followed them this year. In fact, I actually went up to Gilbert and watched them beat Perry High School. And then I went to Rose Mofford uh, up in Phoenix uh, when they played Pinnacle. They lost in the semifinals, but they had a terrific year. He had a lot of good players, and several of them are going to be playing college ball. So that's a good that's a good coach to play for. I um, I honestly don't know because I haven't like looked into what co um, high school I'm going to. Okay. Because I'm like barely going to seventh grade. Okay. And I think I'll look more into it when I'm in seventh. So. Okay, 7th or 8th grade? Yeah. Okay, so you're kind of a free agent right now? Yeah. You just say, look at me. I'm a utility player. I can play almost every position. You want me to play on your high school team? Well, it's pretty much the same, but I'll be looking for high schoolers like when I'm like 8th. Eighth. 8th eighth grade? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you, so what you, but you, what high school do you live close to? Well, I live to two. I live Choya or high school. Choya or what? Um, Pueblo High School. Oh, Pueblo, okay. Both good schools. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either school. Um, obviously, Tucson High is a magnet school. and you can, I think it's pretty much open enrollment, so you can go pretty much anywhere. I would really like to play on the Shoya softball team. What? Where is that? Shoya. At Shoya, okay. The Char yeah. be a Charger. That would be good. Shoya has Shoya is a good high school with a good athletic program. So, All right, so let me ask you this. Wherever we talked briefly on the pregame instructions, pre-show instructions, about school, okay? Grades in school, very, very important. 
You can be the best softball player in the world. You can be the next Jenny Finch. You can be the next Jesse Harper. If you're not making the grades, guess what? You can't you're sitting play. on the bench, or you may not even dress out. Okay? So, you guys are in middle school. Okay? There's two years of middle school. There's four years of high school. And there's four years of college. So, that's ten years. These are the best ten years of your life, believe me. Okay? You're living at home. You don't have to pay bills. you got to do a few chores around the house, sure. But... You know, you're living on mom and dad's money, right? Okay. Junior <coughs> high is going to prepare you to be a high school. Okay. High school is going to prepare you for college. And college is going to prepare you for adult life. Okay. All right. After you get out of college, you got to get a job. You know, you'll get married, have kids of your own. And you'll be in the same situation that your parents are now. So enjoy these next 10 years because they're the best 10 years of your life. Okay. All right. So what I want to ask you guys is, what is your what is your best subject in school? And now that it's summer, what's the subject that mom and dad maybe sat down with you and like, eh, looking at your report, your last report card, and like, eh, you kind of got to get this grade up a little bit. We don't want to say your worst subject because okay. that's not how we do on Five Two Sports Talk. But give me the best subject and the one you maybe need a little bit of work on. My best subject is definitely math, and okay. one I need a little bit of help on would probably be. Um, Science for sure. Science, okay. Um, I think my best subject is, I'm not too sure. I do good in science. I do good in reading, ELA. I'm just not that good at math. Okay. Do you guys go to school together? Uh, no. But you're friends? Yes. Help her with her math homework. She'll help you with your English <laughs> <laughs> or, or whatever she's good at. Uh, I'm good at math. I have trouble with ELA. With what? Um, English language arts. English art, language arts, okay. All right. I'm good at math and, well, at Spanish. They give me Spanish, so that's one. Okay. That's great. Good answers. All right. So let me ask you this. Let's look a little bit ahead into the future, okay? What After you guys are done playing softball, your softball <coughs> career is over, you're hanging up the spikes. What do you think you'd like to do for a living? I've thought about, like, designing houses. Like an architect? An architect, right. All right, that's a great, that's a great line of work. So, for my whole life, I always wanted to be a doctor. For your whole life? All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what kind of doctor? Um, a pediatrician. Oh, for kids. All right, that's great. Um... When I was little, I went. I used to go to Mexico, and I used to always like to see like the U.S. customs. Right. Yeah. So work for the customs department for the yeah. government. It's a great job. You can't go wrong there. Good benefits. I would like to be like, um, criminalistic. I don't Pardon know. Me? I don't know how to say, it, but it's like criminalistic. Right here. Criminologist. Yeah. Oh, so you want to work in law enforcement? That's great. That's a great line of work. No actresses here? No Hollywood actresses? Or, no? You're all going to go and get real jobs, right? Yeah. All right, that's good. All right, so how are we doing on time, Mr. Producer? All right, so you guys want to do a funny question? Yeah. Sure. All right. You guys like to eat? <laughs> yeah. Your kids, of course you like to eat, okay? <laughs> For sure. You ever hang around? The, you ever go with your parents when they get gas? Yeah. QT, Circle K. Yeah. So, so what I want to know is... What's your favorite gas station food and drink? Well, I usually get a yellow Gatorade. Okay. And sometimes hot fries. Hot fries and yellow Gatorade. <laughs> Very nutritious. Yeah. Um, so, I mine is Shell because we live right next to Shell. And we okay. always drive there. And I get, I always ask for chips and Slim Jims. And my favorite drink is the slushies. Okay, good deal. What kind of chips do you like? Um, hot, hot Cheetos. Hot like Cheetos, Cheetos, all right. You guys like to burn your mouth with the hot fries and the hot Cheetos. That's great. Um, it's like a mix of them two. Uh, sure. Slushy and the hot fries. Slushy and hot fries. What about you, honey? I would like, I always like to get like dynamite chips and a Tiari Tona. Well, you guys like to all blow your heads off here. That's great. That's great. <laughs> all right. That's fun. I think we got time for another funny question. Want to do another one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ever gone yard sailing with your mom or dad? Um, 
like to go buy like yeah go yard sale and check out things that people are selling yeah okay yeah. all right so let's do this you're going yard saving with your mom okay yeah it could be fun but most of the time you're like eh, i don't really want to do it she goes on a saturday that you have no game and no practice now if you have no game and no practice on a saturday what's the first thing you want to do sleep in late right yeah yes. exactly to like noon yeah yeah exactly i remember being a kid She's going to wake you up at 5 o'clock. She's going to feed you a good breakfast. 6 o'clock, man, you're out there on the road trying to get the best deals because you ever heard the saying, the early bird gets the worm? Yeah. Okay, so she's out there. So you're like this, driving. You don't want your friends to see you, you know, and stuff like that. She pulls up to the first house. She gets out. You're going to stay in the car. You're going to be on your phone or your iPad or something like that, okay? Out of the corner of your eye, you look at her. She walks up. And she's looking at this vase, ugliest vase in the world, purple and green and orange. None of the colors match, okay? She's looking at it, and you're like, don't buy it, don't buy it. Guess what? She buys it. Guess who gets to carry it home because she's driving? Us. Right, right. Okay, so you pull up into your old house. You're like, man, I got this ugly vase and stuff. She gets out of the car. You get out of the car, and you trip. And the vase hits the driveway and breaks. Now, the first reaction, you're going to look at your mom and your eyes are going to be this big, right? You're like, I broke your vase. You're going to turn around there's going to be a genie. Came out of the vase, okay? Now, this isn't a regular genie, okay? This is a Walmart genie. You only get two votes. You only get two wishes for yourself. The third wish you have to give away. So, what would be your two wishes for yourself and who would you give that third wish away to? Anybody can start. To be a successful person. That's one wish. Okay, good wish. Um, to have to have a happy life. Two good wishes, and who would you give the third one away for? Probably to my mom. Because you broke her vase. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, I guess me. Um, so I would wish to like, um, like have enough money when I'm about 25, so I could buy my own house, stop okay. living with my parents. Um, and my second wish would to, to, to be um, to like have every type of color of glue because I love glue. Blue's a good color, okay. Glue. Oh, glue. Yeah, to make slime. <laughs> to make slime. You think yeah. you're making slime at 25? Well, you could make invent your own slime and then just be like an entrepreneur. I know? mean, I don't know what else to wish for. <laughs> That's all right. It's your wishes. There's no wrong answers. Who would you give that third wish to? Um, I think to my mom also. Because you broke her vase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my first wish to, would be to have enough money to have a successful life. Good wish. And to live a good, long and healthy life. Long and healthy life, have good health. Great wishes. Yeah. What would you, who would you give that third wish away to? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> My first wish will be a healthy family. What is it? Healthy. Healthy family? family? Okay, that's a good wish. The second one will be like, um, not, not being rich, but like have money for have the food. Have enough money to be comfortable? Yeah. Okay, there's nothing wrong with being rich. And the third one will be... I don't be, know, but you know, I've heard. I will give it to... My mom. Yeah. Okay, so you, all you guys are going to give that third wish away to your mom so she can go buy all the ugly vases she wants, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, great. Okay, so before we switch up to the next group of girls, remember I told you that this is a nationwide broadcast and everybody in the country can see it, everybody in the world for that matter, but if you have friends or family in other parts of uh, the United States, here's your chance to shout out or you can just shout out to somebody here in Tucson. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Who do you want to shout out to? To everybody. Everybody. Now, last week we had two people shout out to their dogs. <laughs> Hi. I want to shout out to my family. Your family and who else? Um, my friends. Your friends? No dogs? No, because you don't hear. You don't shout out to their dogs. They're probably watching. <laughs> Did you have somebody else? Mm -hmm. Okay. I would shout out to, like, my school and be like, hey, guys. I'm here. Look at me, I'm on 5 <laughs> yeah. right on. Um, and I don't know who else. My family members in California, Tennessee. Um, 
California, Tennessee, Oregon, uh, Mexico. What part of California? What city? Um, I know one is from Palmdale. Okay. And then... I'm from uh, San Diego. That's why I was asking. Oh. Um, All right. Good deal. And are they watching? Did you text them? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. So they can watch it afterwards when we publish it on the Facebook page. To my mom, especially, and of course my dad and all my friends. Okay, now let me tell you something here. You guys, you guys missed out on one thing. If you're Hispanic like me, you got to shout out to Nana. Because you know what happens if you don't shout out to Nana? Chancla goes right by your head. Right down the hall. Love you, Nana. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got to shout out to Nana. All right. Thank you girls very much for being on the show. Uh, we're going to look forward to uh, your coach is going to send me a schedule, and we're going to come out and do some filming on your baseball or softball Thank you. Game. All right, thank you. All right, so while we're changing up here, we'll finish up uh, with the sponsors. Dynamic Comfort Air Conditioning and Heating, where your comfort is our only concern. They're up in the uh, Aver Valley area. Call them at 520-323-0008. Sparkle Cleaners, 11 convenient locations around Tucson metro area to serve you. Now, if you guys are parents of an athletic team and you have to wash dirty jerseys and all that, it kind of gets to be a hassle. Sparkle Cleaners is going to take that hassle away from you. Right now, they have home and business delivery and pickup. So they'll pick up those dirty uniforms, your dry cleaning, your laundry. They'll take it down to Sparkle Cleaners. They'll professionally clean it, and they'll bring it right back to you. You don't have to, to, you don't have to go out to your car or anything. How easy is that? Definitely give them, you know, go to sparklecleaners.com on the website and schedule an appointment. Frog and Firkin, located just down the street in University Main Gate Square, voted the best pizza, the best outside dining, and the best family-owned restaurant by the Arizona Daily Star. They also won the best burger at the main, the University Main Gate Square Food Festival. They're south of the Firkin Border Burger with the green chili and the egg on it. It's really good. I get it every time I'm at Frog and Firkin. Something always going on there. Our show, they got live music. They've got Lucas Gonzalez on Wednesdays with, with uh, karaoke. And, of course, they've got sports on TV seven days, seven nights a week. Definitely check them out. Wings Over Broadway, we will be there a couple times next week uh, for shows. Best Wings in town. Now, they've only got one location now. The Midtown location closed because they're going to be developing a shopping center there. They're going to be at Camino Seco on Broadway on the southeast corner. Uh, in that, uh, in the it's the old Safeway Shopping Center, but it's right behind the McDonald's. It's real easy to find. Wings over Broadway once again. Sports seven days, seven nights a week. Best wings in town. And I'll tell you what, for not being a pizza place, they've got some really, really good pizza. Try their street taco pizza. It's really good. Uh, they also have the overstuffed sandwiches and a lot of yeah. chicken sandwiches and whatnot. So definitely check them out. We will be there next week twice for two consecutive shows. Bianchi's Italian, two locations to serve you. The original location in Speedway and Silverbell by the West Campus of Pima. And up north where we have our shows at Thornydale and Tangerine. Check out their Italian food. Vince Bianchi and his parents started the restaurant in 1975. So obviously they're doing something right. Once again, we're here at Johnny Gibson's Downtown Market uh, at 6th and Congress, 6th and Broadway. Huge selection of sandwiches, burgers, ready-to-eat foods, and dozens of beverages for adults and kids along with High Wire Lounge. Our show, Under the Stars, is starting to get dark here. We may have some stars here before we're, we're done. So definitely check out Johnny's. And last but not least, Arizona Native Landscaping Design, Installation, and Maintenance. Go to ArizonaNativeLandscaping.com, ArizonaNativeLandscaping.com, or check out their Facebook page at Arizona Native Landscaping. They do the artificial turf. They do, the, obviously, the native landscaping with the cactus and the the uh, low maintenance, low water uh, plants around town. So if you want to make your house really uh, stand out in the neighborhood, definitely give them a call. So we want to thank the sponsors uh, for sponsoring us because obviously it takes money to run this show and uh, they provide that for us. Ladies, how are you doing? Good. All right. How's the picture? I know the lights haven't taken effect yet. We're still good. All right. Thank you guys for watching as well. Tucson. Mountain Major All-Stars. How does that sound to you guys? It sounds great. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Tell me what how does it feel to be an All-Star? I mean, you know, how do you how do you act around your friends or the kids, you know, that you know you go to school with or people in your neighborhood? It feels good cuz I can tell people that I actually made it 
and I don't have to feel ashamed of myself, so it feels pretty good. It's quite an accomplishment. It's something to be very proud of. It feels good because, like, you feel that you made it there because you got good. And you can talk smack or what? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good because um, to work so hard to get here. That's like, a good point. It, you deserve to be here. That's a good point because I don't think there's ever been an all-star that, did, that didn't work hard. Because you feel really appreciated and, like, you accomplished something. That's a great answer. So why don't we keep it down here with you. Give us your name. Where you go to school and what position you play? My name is Rosalia Mendoza. Um, I go to Andy Tolson Elementary by Greasewood, and um, I play pitcher. So you're in sixth grade? Um, fifth grade. Fifth grade, and you're playing on, uh, you're playing up in age on an all-star team. Yeah, I'm lower age. Mad respect, mad respect for you. That's great. Uh, my name is Lily Pagnata, and I go to school at Math and Science Success Academy. Okay. And my position is shortstop and left. All right, so you probably got a nice, strong arm yeah. playing shortstop. My name is Rylan Sanchez, and I go to school at Tulsa Elementary. And I play catcher, pitcher, short, and third. Okay. My name is Alyssa Payanis. I play third and outfield. And I go to school at C.E. Rose um, Okay, that's great. Well, congratulations on the selection of your all-star positions. So you play third and outfield. Tell me this. Which do you like better? If you had to give up one, which would you, which one would you play? It's kind of hard to choose. Uh, it is hard to choose. Because I like both of them. Okay, but if you can only, you're only going to play one in college. So which one's it going to be? Maybe outfield. Outfield. And which, uh, which of the three outfield positions do you like the best? Maybe left. Left field? Okay. We get a lot of balls hit to you because most batters are right-handed and they're going to yeah. pull the ball. That's a good answer. Uh, um, I would probably pick pitcher because I've been trying to work on that for a long time. Okay. And I kind of want to, like, achieve. Oh, sorry. I kind of want to get better. So I'm trying to work on that as much as much as I can. What's your best pitch? Um, I, wait. How do you how do you put that? Like, well, I mean, how do you, what's your best pitch? Is it a drop ball? Is it a rise ball? A fastball? A uh, I only up? know I only know two pitches: okay. a changeup and fastball. Okay. I'm probably best at fastball. Okay, the changeup's kind of funny though because yeah. if you keep throwing that fastball and they're trying to get used to the speed, and then you pull the string on that changeup, the batters look pretty funny because yeah, they're way I'm, way out in front of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. still trying to work on changeup, but Jenny I'm getting Finch there. Jenny Finch had a good changeup. Taryn Mowat had a good changeup. Um, Danielle O'Toole had a good changeup. All good pitchers for the U of A. Um, between shortstop and left, I would probably choose shortstop because I played that the whole season. And you like to gun guys out from deep in the hole, right? Yeah. All right. It's usually where they get hit. So. That's, and it's yeah, fun. you get a lot of action it's shortstop. Fun to, it's, fun, it's fun to be part of the game. Well, and you know what's nice about shortstop and second base is you've got that double play combination yeah, right there. Yeah, exactly. I can play pitcher most time last season. Um, and I played pitcher most okay, time. Okay, so what's your best pitch? Changeup and fast pitch. Okay. Once again, changeup complements the fastball because as soon as they're trying to get ready to hit that fastball, you're going to throw that changeup and make them look really silly, right? Uh, all right. Okay, so let's talk about school a little bit, okay? Um, I was telling you guys, you know, you can be the next Jenny Finch or, you know, anybody that plays softball that's really good. And if you're not making the grades, you're not going to play, right? Yeah. But the purpose of getting good grades is not to stay eligible. Do we all agree with that? What's the purpose of getting good grades? The purpose of getting good grades is um, you achieve a lot of things. You can get a scholarship. Um, you can play softball to get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you can get out of softball, so it's... Okay, good answer. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but good answer. What, who, who else do you? What, what's the main reason you want to get good grades? What's it going to prepare you for? So that you can get a good scholarship for softball. Okay, and maybe a little bit, look a little farther ahead into after you're done with school and you're an adult. What would good grades help you with? Maybe getting a good job? Very good. Finding a good job, okay? That's what school's all about. Middle school is going to help you prepare yourself for high school. High school is going to prepare you for college, and college is going to prepare you for what? For life, right? Okay. Let's do this. What's your best subject? 
and what's the subject you maybe need a little bit of help on coming next year? Uh, my best subject might be math okay. and a little help in reading. Okay, all right. My best subject is language arts, and I need a little help in math. Okay, so you guys need to help each other because she needs help in language arts, <laughs> and you need help in math. So. Yeah. Um, I struggle with math, okay. but my best is writing. Okay, so help her, and she'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my best is language arts. Okay. And I struggle a little bit in writing. Okay. All right. Well, language arts will help your writing. Okay. So once you get a command of the English language, and I'll tell you what, I mean, we grow up here and there's basically only two languages down here in Southern Arizona, Spanish and English. Okay. English is one of the hardest languages in the world for somebody that can speak English to learn because there's so many exceptions to the rules. It doesn't, it's not like Spanish or some of the other Latin-based uh, languages where, you know, it's pretty much, you know, even across the board. So English, to having problems in English, don't get down on yourself because English is not an easy language to learn, okay? But just keep going, just kind of power through it just like you would power through an injury or something when you're playing, right? All right. So let me ask you this. You guys all want to play high school ball. Yes. And you want to keep playing ball and go to college and play ball because you want to get a scholarship, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. What is your dream college that you would like to play softball for? Um, the U of A. The U of A with Coach Candrea? Yes. Good choice. The U of A. Okay. UCLA or U of A? UCLA. Okay, UCLA has the most national championships of anybody. UCLA. Okay. All right. Get a little L.A. action with you? Yes. You're both good schools. Both good schools. Okay. So after college, what do you think you want to do when, you, when you're done playing softball? Now there's professional softball for women, which is kind of cool because there wasn't, there didn't used to be that league. So now women softball players have an avenue to go to uh, after they graduate college. Taylor McQuillan is now playing professional softball, but she's also going to be helping the pitching staff at Pima College just down the street. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think you would want to do for a job after all your athletic uh, career is over? I think I would want to be a nurse. A nurse? That's a great position. You can't can't go wrong there. And there's always a shortage of nurses. So you always have a good job. I either want to be a coach or I want to try to get into an astronaut, NASA. NASA or a coach? Yeah. Well, that's really far apart, but those both are good. Yeah. <laughs> and coaching softball, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I would like a, to be an author or a photographer. Okay, those are good. All right. In the arts? I would love to be a photographer as, like, an artist. Like a sports photographer or? No, more into, like, aesthetic and okay. artistry. Oh, okay, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. No wrong answers at all. How are we doing on time? Let's do a funny question. Let's do a funny question, Mr. Yeah. Producer says. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. You like to eat? Of course I do. Yes. Of course. Yeah, right? It's <laughs> a silly My question, Bill. What do you ask her for? <laughs> I asked the first group what their favorite gas station food and drink was, but I'm not going to ask you that one. Tell me the two favorite places you like to eat, whether it's fast food or a restaurant or whatever, okay? okay. Two favorite places to eat, and you got to get rid of one the rest of your life. Oh, that's the best subject. Um, to say. That's the best subject, right? <laughs> Probably Sace and What's the first one? Sace. What's that? It's um down by Congress. It's by Oreo, the health center. What kind of food is it? It's um Mexican food. Sace, I get well, yeah, that makes Mainly. sense. Okay. <laughs> I've never eaten there, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, and then possibly There's a lot of good places to eat. There is. So many. Um Think back in your head. Like I said, it can be fast food or a regular restaurant. Or One of the main places places that I really like is Golden Corral. So I used I'm, to be a manager I'm, at Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, so one Sace and Golden Corral, which one goes? Probably Sace. Sace, Golden Corral. You're oh, wait, no, Jeff. no, no. No, Golden Corral, sorry. Oh, come on now. I got the Golden Corral owner watching us tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Golden Corral. We still love you, go. Jeff Shoffle. All right, Golden Corral is a good place to eat. Sace, I'm going to definitely have to check out. Um, my favorite would be Sace and Oregano's. Sace and Oregano's. Who goes? 
Oregano's. Boys, two votes for Sace. I'm definitely going to have to check this place out. Maybe Sace, if you're watching, you want to sponsor us and help us with uh, youth sports. Um, I would say uh, Hana Tokyo and Eiji's. Okay, and which one goes? Eiji's. Eiji's, you're out. Yeah. All right. There's so many. Uh, there is so many. Two places you just love to eat. Safeway. What? Safeway. <laughs> Safeway, like in the deli? They got good chicken and stuff. I've been there. Okay, and what else? Oh, and EG's. And EG's. Who goes? EG's. EG's. So, okay, Safeway, you're safe. Another that's bacon they, fries. That's why they call them Safeway, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We do, can we have time for one more funny one? Yeah, we did one. Okay, one more funny one. You guys want another funny question? Yeah. All right. I got so many of them. I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying to find the perfect one for you guys. The second funny one, we asked them uh, if they saw a genie. What, they only got two wishes because he's a Walmart genie. And then the third wish had to go to somebody else. <laughs> so they're girls. They don't know about the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. If you, what would you be, you could be anything that flew in the air, birds, mm -hmm. walked on land, mammal, reptile, or swam in the ocean or the sea, what would you be? What animal would you be? Uh, <laughs> um, a bunny. A bunny, okay, all right. And there's no wrong answers. I think I would want to be... A tiger. Tiger's a good answer. All right. Uh, um, my my spirit animal is a jaguar because your spirit animal is a jaguar. You can't go wrong. Definitely want to be a jaguar. You can't go wrong with a jaguar. My spirit animal is a rat, but is a rat? Yeah, but <laughs> the animal I'd want to be would probably be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the rat, you're out. I'm on the. the okay. Um, so there's uh <laughs> oh, I want to be like a dove. A dolphin? That's a good. That's a, a dove. Good one. A what? <laughs> a dove. Well, a dove. A dove. A dove's a good one. I like to fly. I would love to fly. I, I think you're. I think you're good though. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd want to be a rat either. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, great answers, ladies. It's in my blood. Okay, so let's do this. Remember I talked to you on the pre-show instructions yeah. about this is being seen everywhere in the nation? Okay, I don't know where you guys were born. If you were born somewhere other than here, you probably have friends or family. But you can shout out to anybody you want. Uh, last week we had a softball team. A couple of girls shouted out to their dogs. I think their <laughs> dogs were watching, too. So, so we'll start with you. Oh, uh, shout out to... Let me give you a little hint. If you're Hispanic like me, you better yeah. include Nana. <laughs> I'm, uh, I think I would shout out. All my friends are here, so okay. i probably shout out. Want to shout out to Jenny Finch? or To Jenny Finch. Um, me. Oh. I would want to shout out to my grandma. Your, your grandma, okay. Good choice. I, I'm the same with her. I would like to shout out to my Nana because she's always taking me to all my practices. Nanas are so cool. Like she, she's all involved. Right. And like she supports me. So. Is she watching? Did you tell her you're going to be on the on the show? Oh uh, yeah, actually I did. Okay, so you can say hi to her right now. Hi, hi Nana. Nana. I bet Nana cooks well too, doesn't she? All Nanas cook well. Yes, all that right. is very true. See, now you don't get the chonka thrown down the hall because nope. you included Nana. <laughs> um. Uh, shout out to um, the person who I met when I was in second grade, my stepdad. Okay. He taught me how to play softball, and if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here right now. And I'm very appreciative for him because he's the one who ha taught me how to play, and I'm the person who I am right now. Isn't that so cool, though? You know, and, and, and before I get to you, your parents are, your pa you know, your parents only want the best for you. They want, the, they want you guys to have a better life than they had. When you get to be parents, you want to have your kids to have a better life than you had. So mm -hmm. it just keeps going down the day. You cannot replace the love that parents, grandparents, nanas, tatas give you. 
because they're your foundation and they want you to grow up to be not only successful human beings, but to be, you know, very successful in business and in life, you know, whether it's with a family or, you know, whatever course you decide to take. Um, I want to say hi to my whole family. Okay. Are they here? Uh, yeah, but my aunt, uncle, and two cousins are in Texas. And what part of Texas? Uh... I don't know. You don't know. Texas is pretty big. It's probably easy to get lost there. Are they watching? Did you tell them to watch? No, I. Okay. Forgot. Well, you know what? After the show is over, we publish it and we put it on our five two zero Sports Talk page, so you can go home and, and give them a call and say, go to Facebook, log, you know, go on the search bar five two zero Sports Talk, and watch me be the star of the night on the five two zero Sports Talk page. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, well, I want to thank you girls very much for uh, coming on. It's my honor to have you. I told your coaches to give us a, a game schedule uh, so we can come and watch you guys play and maybe take some video. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Put you right yeah. back up on the page. And yeah. you can walk around and talk smack in your neighborhood, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Best of luck on your game tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so just a quick reminder. Next Monday night, our first 602 Sports Talk show in Chandler. We're, we've got a couple of venues we're tossing around. I will let you know uh, this coming week where we're going to have the show. Uh, if you have friends or family in the Phoenix or the, or the East Valley area, uh, tell them to come down to the show and check it out. We're very excited to launch our 602 Sports Talk. And it's going to be modeled right after the 520 Sports Talk where we're going to have a lot of non-revenue sports, a lot of girls and women's sports, and just sports and athletes that the mainstream media uh, just chooses not to cover. That's where we come in. That's our little niche, and we enjoy doing it. So, Got the big group, all right. So let me ask you this. Did we save the best for last? I can't hear you. One more time. All right, all right. So we'll start with you. Give us your name, where you go to school, and what position you play. My name is Juliani Carrasco. Um, Outside voice. Wait, hold on. Where do you go to school? Grijalva, but I'm going to go to Macorco. Okay, and what position do you play? Second and outfield. Second and outfield, okay. Um, Don't be afraid. Yell into that mic. My name is Faith Olea. I go to Macorco, but I'm going to go to school in Phoenix for seventh grade. Okay. And I'm catcher. Okay, so we'll have to get you on the 602 Sports Talk Show, too. Yeah. How'd you like that? That'd All right. Cool. <laughs> that would be really cool. My name is Lisania Garcia. I go to McCor McCorkle, and I play third base and shortstop. Where is McCorkle? Uh, Ajo, Mission and Ajo. Mission and Ajo, okay. All right. I knew I'd heard of it. I just didn't know where it was at. My name is Daniela Herrera, and I go to McCorkle, and I play shortstop. Boy, McCorkle must have a great school team. <laughs> uh, my name is Maya Encinas. Um, I go to Roscrooge here. Roscrooge, you're right across from Tucson High? Yeah. Okay. And then I uh, play first and outfield. Okay, great. Well, welcome to the show. Let me stay with you. Going to Roscrooge, that's a really, really old school. Is there just a lot of steps to climb? Yes. So you get a good workout. No wonder you're an all-star softball player. You're, you're running stadiums inside the inside <laughs> school every day. How do you like it at Roscrooge? Uh, it's good. It's pretty cool being a really historic school, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Is that a bilingual school? Yes. Okay. All right. So let me ask you, do you guys play school ball? Uh, no. No. You are? Okay. So let me ask you this question. Do you like school ball or Tucson Mountain ball better? Uh, I prefer Tucson Mountain. All right. Good answer. Good answer. But you got to be good at school ball, too, because you're probably going to be going to Mission and Ajo. You're probably going to be going to Pueblo. Or Choya, or maybe some, no. Who are you gonna go? Tucson High. Tucson High. Okay, if you're gonna play for Bert, you gotta be good. So, and Bert's a good coach. I, we love Bert Otero. All right, so you're gonna go to across the street. I'm assuming to Tucson High. Uh, well, I was maybe if I have good grades, I might go to South Point. Oh, South Point, very very good uh, school, and uh, obviously state champions the last uh, two or yeah. three years. So, um, Amy Rocha is a very very good coach. Where are you gonna go to high school? I'm going to be going to Pueblo, maybe. Pueblo's got a great uh, great school. Brandon Sanders, is a he set up that. I think he's just going to coach football, but 
he set up that athletic department for success. And uh, Pueblo is a lot different than they used to be. They, you know, now people are afraid to play Pueblo. And Coach Curtis Ruiz, uh, my friend Curtis Ruiz, uh, he won the state championship with Pueblo, I think, back in 2016. So, so definitely, definitely going to be a warrior. My mom was a warrior. And you, okay, where are you going to go to high school? Um, I'm going to high school in Phoenix. Where but at? I don't know. I Pinnacle? Don't know um, I don't know. If you go to Pinnacle, Bobby Pena, who's actually ahead of, of USA Softball for Arizona, he's the head coach of Pinnacle. Wow. And they uh, they just barely, they almost won the state championship. They lost in the in the title game. But, you know, runner-up, that's, you know, it's still a good season. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to go to high school yet. Not yet? Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Well, you got time. You got time. All right. <laughs> So let's kind of stay with the school thing for a couple couple minutes. Wow, we look kind of dark, don't really we? Dark. Yeah. All right. Now we are 5 2 on Sports Talk Under the Stars. All right. You guys want to, you guys want to play high school ball, obviously. Yeah. So you got to get good grades, right? Yes. Is getting good grades only important to stay eligible? Um. Yeah, for me, no. maybe not all. Okay, so you're going to get good grades just to play softball. You're not going to do anything else in your life. No. You're going to play maybe. softball till you die. No. Okay, well, so why do you want to get good grades? Maybe to, I don't know. Get a good job? Yeah, get, get a, a good job. Yeah. Okay. I, I think no, because I want to do like a... Like, I want to get a good job and do softball at the and same time. And then you can't get a good job with bad grades, right? Do yeah. we all agree with that? Yeah. Okay. So you want to play college ball, right? Yeah. All right. And the nice thing about softball now for ladies is there's a pro league now. Yeah. So you don't have to stop at college, okay? Uh, Danielle O'Toole, who pitched for the U of A a couple years ago, she plays pro ball. Taryn Mowat, who is the pitching coach for U of A, she played pro ball. Jenny Finch played pro fo or pro softball, excuse me. Uh, Taylor McQuillan, this year's uh, star pitcher for the Wildcats, she's now playing pro softball. She's also going to help Rebecca Quiroz at, uh, at Pima College with their pitching staff. So there's an avenue for ladies to go continue their sporting, their, their softball career where there didn't used to be a few years ago. So you guys are coming into it right at the right time. So with everything said, what would be your dream college to play softball? Uh, maybe the U of A. The U of A, okay. Or the ASU. U of A or ASU, okay. Maybe like UCLA or... UCLA's um, got the most championships all time of softball. Yeah. And they just won another one. Maybe U of A. U of A, okay. Um, the U of A or Harvard? Harvard's got a good team. Harvard came to the U of A in the regional. Um, they lost, but they had a very, very good team. And... You know what? You can't beat a Harvard education. You can probably get any job in the world with a Harvard education. Maybe the U of A. Okay. And what would you do? Also, I might, uh, maybe Oklahoma. Oklahoma's a really, really good school for softball. Okay. So it's something to look forward to. And obviously, you can change your mind. You're only in middle school. So tell me this. What do you want to accomplish being an all-star for Tucson Mountain? Maybe be a good player. Try to. Well, you're already a good player. You're an all star. Well, a bit better. A better player. Okay. Yeah. Good job. I honestly want to get better at softball. Okay. I, good answer. I I I know I'm I'm okay. I'm. Well, you're I'm better than okay. You're an all star. Yeah. So we'll I, put that behind us. We already know yeah. you're a stud player. I try hard, but sometimes like I don't hey, know. Everybody has a bad day. You know the neat thing about baseball and softball is a good hitter bats what three hundred. So that means seven times out of ten you fail. Okay, so that's that's something to think about. What do you want to get out of being an all-star for Tucson Mountain? Uh, make home runs and be the best. Be the best. That's that's good. That's something to get strive for. Um, I just want to create memories to have, like, to just that is like such. That's <laughs> such a good answer. Create memories. Believe me, girls, you're going to remember this the rest of your lives, okay? Um, I made All-Stars in Little League one time, okay? Uh, I won a state championship one time. Those are the two probably most 
memorable athletic of, you know events that I ever had uh, pleasure or an honor to take part in. Okay, I'm in my 50s, so I still remember that. You're never ever ever gonna, re, you know, you're never gonna forget being an All Star for Tucson Mountain or any other special team that you make uh, going on later in your career. Be a better player. Okay, and that's good. All Stars will make you a better player because. You're playing against other All-Stars, okay? And you guys are playing up in age, so that's better. If you play your own age and you bat 600, are you going to get better? No. No, of course not. There's so many parents out there that don't want to let their kids play up in age, and they're like, yeah, well, my kid's batting 600. I'm like, yeah, your kid's batting 600 against a 10-year-old. You know, go pitch them against a 14-year-old and see how they do. Colleges will not even look at you if you don't play up. We have three college scouting services that watch our shows, and they've all told me, we're not even going to look at a player unless they play up. Okay. Now, some tournaments you have to play your own age, right? And, you got, and how is that? That's, it's kind of slow, huh? Because you're used to the faster speed. So you're only going to get better if you play better players and you play up. So I, I commend you guys for playing up, and I have a lot of mad respect for you guys, not only playing up but being all-stars, the best of the best. So that's pretty cool. How are we doing on time, Mr. Producer? One funny question. Uh, we're going to give two. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first group, I asked what their favorite gas station food and drink was. The second group, I asked, what's your two favorite places to eat? And you got to get rid of one. Okay. So this is what I'm going to ask you guys. What are the two favorite meals that your mom or your grandma or your nana make? And you got to get rid of one. Um... Let's see. Maybe for my mom, this really good um, macaroni. Macaroni and cheese? Yeah. Okay, and what else? Um, can I say my nana? Yeah. Uh, my nana, good chicken tacos. Good chicken tacos. Can't beat yeah. that. Who, who, who gets the axe? Uh, maybe the my nana. Maybe. Nana gets the yeah. axe? <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I like the tamales. Tamales? From Red or, or green corn? Red. Okay. Christmas and, tamale. And pozole. Pozole is both good. Both of them are from like my grandma. That's fine. And I would get rid of the... That's a hard one. Uh, pozole or tamales? Tamales. Wow. Okay. That pozole must be really, really good. All right. I have... Outside voice. <laughs> Two favorite things that your mom or your nana or somebody cooks and you got to get rid of one. One is mole, mole. and the other one is... Uh, <laughs> you're not going to eat mole. You're not going to eat mole for every dinner. What other one do you like? Mm, tacos. What kind? Uh... Carne asada. Carne asada, tacos, or mole? Which one goes? Uh, mole. Mole goes. Carne asada is on top. These are great really answers. Hard. Um, my two favorite foods are my dad's carne asada. Okay. And my mom's lasagna. And your mom's what? Lasagna. 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 Okay, so you got an Italian dish and a Hispanic dish. Yeah. Which one gets the axe? Are your parents here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Who gets the axe, mom or dad? I'm a, I'm gonna say my mom. Your mom's lasagna is out the door. Okay. <laughs> Carne asada wins. All right. And for you? Um, my mom she makes um quesadillas. Quesadillas, okay. And my grandma she makes like pozole. Pozole, okay. Which one goes? Um. Maybe my mom. Your mom's quesadillas? All right, so Nana wins out, right? You guys ever ever had fideo? Yeah. And I love that. I love it. It's, like it's kind of like a tomato noodle and cheese soup. It's really, really good. It's really good. Yeah, my Nana used to make that, and that was one of my favorites. Another one of my Nana's favorites was the ground beef tacos where they make it into a patty, and then they cook it all at once. Those are the best, aren't they? All right, all right. And I don't know, if I had to give up one, I'd probably, that would be hard. I'd probably give the fideo up and go with the tacos. 
All right, so we've had a really good time here, haven't we? Has everybody had fun? Yeah. I think all your teammates have had fun. We got one more thing to do before we close the show out. Remember I talked to you about this on the pre-show instructions of anybody in America can watch this show. So were you guys all born in Tucson? No. Yeah. No? Yes. Where were you born? Okay, who, who wasn't Tucson. born in Tucson here? Where were you born? I was born in California. Where? Lancaster. I was born in San Diego. So a couple of Cali, a couple of SoCals right here, right? All right. Can't beat SoCal. All right, so hopefully maybe people that are back in California, and they, they, maybe they're watching you, okay? All right, so here's your chance to shout out. We'll start with you. Grab the mic. You want me to come back to you? Yeah. Okay, we'll start over here. Um, shout out to anybody you want. Uh, your dog, your cat, your mom, your nana, your turtle. Um, hi, nana. All right. All right, that's cool. Okay, I want to give a shout out to my dad and my and my older sister. Okay. For pushing me towards softball and. And they're always trying to make me do the best. Very, very good. Very important. That's a good. That's a good shout out. I give a shout out to my mom and to my sister. Okay, older or younger? Older. Okay. I like to shout out to my parents for always being there and just being supportive, and for my little brother because it's his birthday. That's a happy birthday, little brother and mom. And she's gonna. I think mom's gonna make you a lasagna tomorrow to try to change your mind. What do you say, Mom? <laughs> All right. Um, I'll give a shout out to my family in Vegas. And where? Vegas. All right. I love Vegas. All right. Are they watching? I don't know. Did you text them? I think my mom did. Your mom texted them. All right. Well, Las Vegas. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So you guys all had fun. It's my <laughs> honor to have you here. I already had my day in the sun athletically. Okay. I like to watch athletes, young athletes, grow up, do well. The main thing we want you to do is do well in school because you guys, have you ever heard of the word student athlete? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the word athlete student? Yeah. No. no. You're a student first and then you're an athlete, right? So that means grades come first, sports is second. If you get good grades, you can play as much sports as you want. Fair enough? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to catch a game or so and get you uh, get some video and Put you back right on the page. Tell your friends and family they can sh they can share this show to their own Facebook page, or you can put it on the Tucson Mountain uh, Facebook page because I know you got one of those. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. This is our only show for this week because uh, we're preparing for the big show next month or next week in Chandler to kick off 602 Sports Talk up in the Valley. So uh, maybe we'll get you on there. That would be cool. You'd be on 520 and 602. Yeah. Well, you could really talk smack then, huh? <laughs> so we we're going to have the E1 Prospects. They're one of the best uh, club teams up in the Phoenix area. And we're also going to have four girls uh, from Team USA Softball. So that's going to be quite a treat. We don't mess around with 602 Sports Talk up there. We get the best of the best. We want to thank Cartwright's Modern Cuisine. Uh, they're our sponsor for 602 Sports Talk. Even if you're in Tucson, take a trip up to Cave Creek. It's worth the drive. It's a really pretty drive. You will not have a better time at, at the Cartwright's Modern Cuisine. I actually ate a piece of fish there that eight hours before I ate it was swimming in the ocean. It's that fresh. So they do the best of the best up there. Cave Creek's kind of a neat community. A lot of antique shows. They've got like a biker rally for bikers up there. Uh, just a lot of great you know little shops and things to go. So if you're in the Cave Creek area, definitely check out the, the town of Cave Creek and make sure you stop by Cartwright's modern cuisine so thank you very much for watching we always appreciate our viewership over 6100 followers now on 520 sports talk we have close to 5700 likes on there so if you haven't liked or follow us please do and also check out our sister page 602 sports talk also on facebook i'm bill mccullough pearson stern event great job producing 520 sports talk southern arizona sports with a twist and it's a wrap